he hit me up one day and said, hey, would you be interested in your station wagon again? I was like, yeah. He said, well, it's got a rod hanging out of the oil pan. I said, that's okay. I work at Holly Performance Products. I am an exhaust design technician. Me and the car have a pretty good history. Well, I found this car at a uh, fellow mechanic shop. He had it sitting out back, planned on making it a drag car. Picked it up for a little bit of nothing. Uh, put a small block in it, drove it for a while. Come on some hard times, needed to sell it. Set up town for two or three weeks. No interest, no offers. And at that time I had white walls and hubcaps on it. My brother drove it uh, to his side job at the uh, drag strip in a little town we lived in in Georgia, Edenton, Georgia. And everybody heard it and uh, had a guy interested in it, but he just wanted the drivetrain. So I sold the drivetrain and got the car back for what I wanted for it. <laughs> it sat around engineless, drivetrainless for, I don't know, probably over a year. Put a small block together for it, just a stock one, and uh, drove it to Kentucky when we moved here. Had it a while and traded it for a Jeep Cherokee. Was in touch with a guy a few times and he hit me up one day and said, hey, would you be interested in your station wagon again? I was like, yeah. He said, well, it's got a rod hanging out of the oil pan. I said, that's okay. I've got a little car I can trade you. So traded in the car, pulled the engine out, debated whether to build another small block. And uh, I had this 5.3 sitting on the floor. I decided to go ahead and do the LS swap and bite the bullet. And it was good. I, I thoroughly enjoy it, so I'm glad I did. 4L60E transmission, and right now I've got a big, tall 241 highway gear in it. Yeah, i got a, uh, a rear end swap plan, an 8.8 from a Ford Fox body, Perfect. with some 373 gears, so that'll help out a lot. Just more of a daily driver, cruiser, family car. Yeah, I pulled out the heater box, was planning on making a drag car, but uh, ended up just enjoying driving it on the street. It's got full interior in it, so. Now the plans are to put it back in so I can have some heat, heat and air conditioning. <laughs> you kind of get a little bit smarter as you get older and decide you need, decide you need better things. <laughs> I've got the, uh, the single plane EFI intake manifold, just a throttle body, so it's got multi-port EFI on it. Uh, it's got the Holley low mount accessory drive on it. Intake fuel pump, pressure regulator, uh, frostbite radiator. I've got the seven inch Holly digital dash. Got a lot of different variety of menus and screens you can use on it. So I really like it. And it's, it is good because I don't have any other gauges in there other than my fuel tank gauge. Yeah, the three inch exhaust, uh, which is another one of our products, a uh, Hooker Blackheart exhaust on it. Uh, kind of kind of gives it away a little bit. Future plans, maybe get a camshaft with some sound to it, but right now just stock internals. Everybody asks me if I'm going to paint it, and I say, no, I don't have any plans to. Yeah, I'm not worried about dinging it up or scratching it if I go somewhere. No, I've got the Holly Dominator. Yeah, I've actually got the Dominator. And it's awesome because it controls transmission, fans, fuel pump, everything. Whatever you want it to control, it's, it's pretty much there. I've had some help tuning it, put a base tune in it, and I had some tweaks with, from timing and fuel. But other than that, I never hook a laptop to it. I just drive it like it is. It's, uh, it runs so good, I don't ever have to mess with it.